I'm Danielle Link. And I'm Justin Skolnick, and welcome to WSRK Shark News. To kick off the year, we're going to see a man on the street about the culture of the school. A news story on a beauty pageant and an interesting wildlife documentary. All this and more on WSRK Shark, Shark News. News. that explains just that. I think we have a really good culture here as far as people uh, caring about each other, loving each other, hugging each other. You know, it's a, I think it's a very nice place. Um, it's a great vibe and atmosphere. I think there's a lot of diversity I mean, your students that are represented uh, by over you know, 50 different countries. I think the culture of the school is, you know, Diverse, you know, you know, you have a pinch of this, a pinch of that. One, we have over 67 nationalities, so it's just the culture that people celebrate holidays in different ways. I think probably where we can improve is like school spirit, supporting our sports teams and stuff like that. It's also a culture being, how does the freshman class do activities versus what the senior class does? We have a large culture in the senior class of Rad bash, plum, things to look forward to. But how does that trickle down to the ninth, tenth, and eleventh graders? Well, the culture of the school in general is, um, aside from safety, is the most important part of, of running a school. If you don't have a good, positive, healthy culture where everybody's feeling really good about being at the school, being a part of the team, you don't have that established from the beginning, then you really don't have any other way to achieve your goals. And I'm happy to say that Alonzo and Tracy Morning. Senior High has a great culture established here. Huh. What's that smell? That rich, creamy, cocoa smell. I know that smell. I must find that smell. I know that smell. What is it? What's that smell? I've smelled that smell before. Where's this smell taking me? I know that smell. I know that smell. I know... Where, where am I going? What is this place? What do you want? What is that? It's chocolate. How much? A dollar a piece. for only a dollar a piece. So I heard you, Emily, and Brenna went out to the Miss Senior Florida pageant over the summer. Yes, we did, and it was really inspiring to see older women living their dreams by participating in a beauty pageant. Let's take a look. When one thinks of a beauty pageant, typically young girls and hairspray comes to mind. However, some older contestants have put their skills to the test by competing in the 2017 Miss Florida Senior Pageant. So, the Miss Senior Florida pageant is an extension of the Miss Florida pageant or the Miss Florida team. Um, it's just a new way for seniors to be represented in the pageant world. The Miss Florida Senior pageant gives women who are over the age of 60 an opportunity to flaunt their beauty skills. The women who have reached this age of elegance have been preparing and waiting for this moment to compete for the title. We turned in the applications months ago, practiced for two months, and then here we are here today. Well, I think that I push my emotions down so much I don't really notice them, so I hope that when I get out there I don't freeze and can't talk. So I'm pretty excited inside. This friendly competition brings all different types of women together to be a part of a unique experience that most women this age haven't had. Learning really about what these women have been through and accomplished in their life, like all of them are extremely different. You have professors here, you have artists, you have musicians, and they've had such a beautiful, amazing life with so much advice and wisdom to give, and it's great to hear their stories and see how full of life they are for being 
active adults, I guess is what you would call them. The Miss Florida Senior Pageant is an inspiration for many by showing that anything can be achieved no matter how old you are. For WSRK, I'm Danielle Link. And now here's an interesting wildlife documentary. My name is Cub Ovens. I've served in the Cambodian Army, climbed Mount Footlong, skilled ice ridges, and single-handedly contracted Ebola. Now my challenge is to survive and escape the confines of the Elysian jungle. Thousands of tourists come here each year to experience the thrill of the jungle, but they don't know is how quickly this jungle can kill you when things go wrong. My purpose, however, is to show you the skills necessary to survive. So right now, I'm in my home base located in Northern South Florida. When traveling into high density jungles, you need at least two cylinders to safely navigate. But I'm not gonna be taking any chances, so I'm gonna be riding in this bad boy. The Honda Odyssey. Loaded with not one cylinder, not two, not three, not four, five, six, or even seven, but six cylinders of sheer muscle and a 3.5 liter engine. And you know how much I love my wildlife, so I enslaved 248 powerful horses to rock this beast of a car. No, all that's left to do is gather my things and mount this mighty stallion. Cub, ovens, come on ovens. Do 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 ovens. Ovens, 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 the explorer. Grill's got nothing on. Grab your backpack. Let's go. Jump in. Vamanos. I will lead the way. Hey, hey. Do two ovens. Do two ovens. Do two ovens. Do two ovens. Mom, keep driving. Mom, keep driving. Oh, mom. Ovens, the explorer. Every year, tens of hikers come to explore the Elysian jungle's beauty. Unfortunately, only 97.3% of them make it back unharmed. I'm going to show you what to do if you're in the 2.7% while being followed by a full camera crew every step of the way. Alright, I think we're getting close. I usually like to stare out the window while listening to sad music and contemplating my life. I am a simple man, so I sing a simple song, very simple. Never been so much in love and never hurt so bad. At the same time, I just blatantly lie to all of you. I am a simple man. And I play a simple tune, not really there's many chords. Wish that I could see you once again across the room. Like the first time. Just want to hold you, I don't want to load you down. Hear what you're saying and you're spinning my head around. And I can't make it alone. Oh, that's a lie. I'm Cub Ovens. I can do so many things. I've killed 15 men with my bare hands. Just I had knives in them. So it wasn't necessarily my bare hands, but you get the point. Last year, the Red Cross had to rescue approximately three and a half people from this jungle. The wildlife here is really something not to be fiddled with. For that reason, I bought certain sets of applies, like this flare gun, three number two pencils, one number three pen, this pocket knife, a larger pocket knife, binoculars, my trusty potato can. I have to get rid of this. I need to find myself a new dry knife. Got some Axe body spray because it doesn't just repel literally everyone around you, but bears as well. Mm. 
next time on Man vs. Mild. Hey, cool. This is some very emotional road. Now it's time for the most important part of the journey, the jump. I'm Danielle Link. And I'm Justin Skolnick. See you next week on WSRK Shark, Shark News. News.